Is there a right way to pour wine? I'm Dan Eddy with ABC Fine Wine and Spirits. And I'm Heather Burton, also a wine expert with ABC Fine Wine and Spirits. There isn't really a wrong way to pour wine, as long as you get it in your glass, but there are ways that enhance the experience of the wine that you're drinking. We have a long history of containers for wine, and bottles are comparatively recent in that history, but they are a great safe way to store and travel with your wine. So getting into that bottle is important. More and more, bottles have screw caps, Stelvin enclosures, which makes it very easy. You just unscrew, you're done. But a lot of people that enjoy wine like the ritual, like the history. So they like having a cork. They like having a corkscrew. They like going through the process of cutting the foil, popping the cork, pouring the glass. The most important thing when opening a bottle of wine, in my opinion, is to be sure that you get the worm, which is the squiggly part, the curled part of the wine key in the very center of the cork. No matter what kind of wine key or wine opener you're using, this is absolutely the most important thing. You'll notice if you're in a fine restaurant that they'll often take the bottle after they pour you and they may angle up a little bit and bring the opening of the bottle up. That's to kind of reduce some of the drippage that can occur if you're pouring kind of rapidly. Now, how else do you stop those drips? You can use a white cloth, but then you'd have to use a lot of bleach or a lot of wine out, and that just becomes a pain. We have these nifty little things. Very thin, roll it right up and stick it right inside the wine bottle. No twisting or napkin necessary. Another common question that arises when you're discussing pouring wine is to decant or not to decant. When you decant, you're oxygenating the entire volume of that bottle, which makes it more ready to consume. This is a process that happens naturally as a wine ages in bottle, but if we're not willing to wait that period of time, then decanting really helps make that wine ready to drink. Not all wines need to be decanted to be enjoyed. Typically speaking, a very young wine and a very tannic wine that's really tight benefits from a decant or one that's much older, had a lot of bottle aging and needs a little bit of elbow room to breathe and open up. A few years ago, uh, a lot of my friends reached out to me while watching Downton Abbey because Carson was in his little room with a candle, with a bottle of wine and with a machine that he was slowly kind of moving that bottle to a certain angle. And people were texting me like, what is Carson doing with that wine? And what he was doing was pouring an older bottle. The candle allowed him to see into the bottle to see if there were any sediment that was gonna go into the glass. It's very natural. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the wine, but no one wants the grit in the bottom of their glass. When you decant, you're doing it so that when you present the wine, it's in its perfect condition. It's ready to drink and you don't have any annoying floaty bits in there. Many young, fresh, Domestic wines don't really need to be decanted because they're softer in style. They go through a secondary malolactic fermentation to make them ready to drink when you open them, right after you purchase them. Whereas some of these better aged wines, they would probably do with a decanter or an aerator or perhaps a different shape of glass. What about white wines? Do they need to be decanted? Before I answer that question, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Generally, you really never need to decant a white wine, nor should you decant a champagne because you will lose all of your bubbles in one shot. So really decanting is something we look at with red wines and with fortified wines. Another question is what glass do I use? Frankly, with all the coffee cups that say this might be wine, no judgment here. However, if we're talking about the difference between wine glasses, there are a few things that you should know. A goblet style glass is actually meant for Pinot Noir. I used to think it was meant for Cabernet, right? You come in a restaurant, you swirl it around, 
watch the legs, but it's actually for Pinot Noir because it's a light fruity wine that tends to decant in the glass. Another wine glass commonly used is the Bordeaux glass. This one is taller and more slender than the goblet. The reason why this glass is used is because Bordeaux wines that are heavy tend to have sediment at times and are bottle aged for a really long time if you're lucky, need to decant for at least an hour or plus depending on your preference. And while you can pour Bordeaux in this Bordeaux glass, it works very well for a beautiful white wine. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody. Generally, we don't want to agitate a wine before we pour it. We actually want it to be somewhat settled so that you have a, a better kind of pouring experience. It doesn't really matter how you hold your glass unless you're maybe pouring some champagne or a beer. And then at an angle is nice so that you don't just drink froth. But with regular white and, and red still wine, it really doesn't matter. It matters more based on the type of wine, the age of the wine, to get that perfect drinking experience. So now that you know how to pour wine, I think it's time you need to buy some wine. So come down to your local ABC and find your wine expert. They will be more than happy to fill up a card for you. And check out some of our other videos.